Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for this week's safety recap. Before we get started, make sure that you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this nature. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this type along with toolbox safety topic videos and leadership training videos. Well, let's jump right into it. I wish to thank those who welcomed me to their jobs as pa sites this past week. I must say that I'm pleased with the overall performance of all the teams I have visited. When we first started this journey together, I recall a great deal of apprehension when I would arrive on a job site. Is he going to write me up? Will I get in trouble? Will my job be in jeopardy? And from my perspective, how would they perceive me, a friend or a foe? After all this time, we have developed solid relationships with the common goal of developing safe, well-trained teams and providing a valuable service to our customers in a safe, timely, and efficient manner while earning a living and making profits for our employer. That sounds like a win, win, win to me. Now I have to admit I'm partial to the men in the field. After all, that's where I spend most of my time. I am uniquely lucky. I have an opportunity to work within many divisions in our company and I get to observe the relationship between successful teams in the field and their relationship with their administrative slash support staff. I find a directly proportional relationship between success and support. The greater the administrative support a team has, the greater its success. Now the jewel of success has many facets and not all of them can be addressed in one short weekly format. So I pose a few questions to be pondered. Do we believe our field staff needs support? Do we ensure that they have a full understanding of the scope of work? Do they have all the necessary documents required under the EH&S, such as safety forms, that would be uh, PTP forms, uh, EH and, uh, ECP forms, uh, other safety related documents? Uh, do they have an updated EH&S handbook? Do they have an updated SDS book, etc.? Are their requests for tools and equipment responded to in a timely fashion? Do they have the proper training and qualifications or certificates to perform a task, operate machinery, or use some safety equipment? Is support accessible or do calls from the field go unanswered or placed at a low priority? Now I know there are two sides to every story, but I have to ask, how do you respond to these questions? Do we need improvements in these and or other areas? And how do we achieve needed improvements? Some final thoughts, staying in front of the project. If we don't stay in front of a project, then we'll be in the catch up game and the catch-up game is rarely productive or profitable. Organization is a major key to success. Get organized, stay organized. It allows us to stay focused on staying in front of the project. A focused, well-organized team is a successful team. And then finally, doing that thing. Every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year there is that thing that needs to be done. Some of us choose to ignore it. Some of us put it off, procrastinate, and a very select few of us do that thing that is required. Now what is that thing? Who knows? It's different all the time. It just needs to be done. And the only and only the success will do it. 
We all have the choice. The choices we make now, in the next minute, hour, day, week, and year determine who we, will, who we will become in the future. Use your power of choice wisely. Thank you, Neil Bortz. I wish everyone during this Christian highest of holy days a very Merry Christmas. Remember, Christians, which I am one, Jesus is the reason for the season. Thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you give me a thumbs up down below to encourage me to make more videos of this type. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you'll find additional videos of this nature, toolbox safety topic videos, and leadership training videos. Until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your coworker and ensure their safety have a grateful day, and I will see you in the field.